Well, here we are. Uh, I'm James McAreevy uh, from Newry Maritime Association. And we're here in Warren Point Harbour this afternoon on board the Warren Point Harbour Authority uh, tug, the Maid of Clonallan. And this is a vessel that the Harbour Authority purchased in Scotland and they use here for survey operations around the port and in the channel. And today we're going on a journey up to Newry uh, as part of the uh, Carlingford Lock uh, dinghy visit tomorrow on Saturday. And this boat will be used as a committee boat in the Albert Basin. So this afternoon we're going to take a trip from Warren Point Port northwards up through narrow water into Victoria Locks and of course up the historic Newry Canal and we have some uh, people to speak to later on we have ex seamen and Newry Maritime Association members Paddy McCann and John McParland and of course the chief executive of uh, Warren Point Harbour Mr Peter Conway who has a long identification with sailing in the area and with the local yacht club and Peter is actually going to take charge of the Maid of Clonallan today on the voyage. So um, we'll, we'll speak to Peter later on and um, we'll have some shots of the, the, the harbour as we leave now. It's a lovely afternoon, uh, very picturesque and tranquil here in Carlingford Lock. And you can see the snow caps on the hills behind me uh, over in Cooley. And in fact, uh, I believe there is a, a very important meeting been held today in the Carrickdale Hotel regarding the proposed bridge being built at Narra Water. And we'll be passing that site as well. And we'll take a look at it when we get there. Now here we are at Victoria Locks uh, in Fadham. Uh, we've arrived now on the Maid of Clonallan and, and with me here is uh, Peter Conway. And Peter is the Chief Executive of Warren Point Harbour Authority. And he's also our skipper for today on the Maid of Clonallan. Isn't that right, Peter? That's right. And I'm a wee bit nervous because of all these naval people here who are watching me. But uh, we'll have to keep the head down and do the best. Got a good crew, James. That's the important thing. Yeah, and... Um, Peter, what is the purpose of the trip for yourself now? Uh, what's happening with the Maid of Clonallan tomorrow in Newry? 
Well, um, Warren Point Harbour Authority really, as you know, is the descendant of Newry um, Port. And uh, we like to be associated with the Maritime Association like your good selves. Uh, and tomorrow there is a regatta taking place in the Albert Basin to demonstrate um, to the local people, both adults and children, the great joy that there is in sailing. And tomorrow the Maid of Clonallan will be up there berthed to just support the local Carlingford Lock Yacht Club who are putting on that demonstration. Well, uh, as you mentioned there, the Harbour Authority, of course, are corporate members with the Maritime Association. And, um, you know, it's, it's an excellent exercise. Uh, I think it shows a great combination of the effort between the, 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 the uh, public and uh, the voluntary sectors yeah. uh, to, in what we're doing here which is the active promotion of the uh, the, the, the history of the, the port. And in fact, I can see just behind us here the memorial for the privet and the walnut as we're raising in the chamber here. But it is, it's, it's great to see the Harbour Authority integrating uh, with the community. And I know that you're very supportive uh, in the area of, of uh, associations such as ours and the local schools, etc., Yes, well, it's, we are public trust ports, so we're actually owned by the people of Northern Ireland and more particularly the people of Newry and Morne. So apart from running a very successful business, we're the second port now in Northern Ireland and the fifth on the island of Ireland, it is important for us to work with our local community and also, I think, um, to demonstrate how important the heritage is to us because, quite frankly, if Newry had never been developed as a port, mm -hmm. uh, Warren Point Port would never be there either. So, you know, we're just following on from the traditions, the great traditions of seamanship in this area and it's so good to see them being revived again and indeed the heritage being maintained by the Newry Maritime Association. And also Peter finally um, you you also uh, I know that it's part of your uh, marketing strategy that uh, you, you promote you actually promote Warren Point as the port for the city of Newry nowadays. Oh yes well um, I think I often point out to people that it, the actual postal address is Warren Point Newry County yeah. Down and uh, you know whenever I'm abroad trying to promote uh, business maybe in Belgium or Holland or in Britain or further afield um, I always point out that Warren Point is the port for the new city of Newry. Uh, and that's, that has a ring to it because when they go to look on the map, that's what they'll see. And the great advantage to the port is it's halfway between Dublin and Belfast and it can serve a very, very important market. Lovely. Peter Conway, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, now, I'm joined at uh, Victoria Lock by uh, Captain John McParland, uh, another member of uh, Newry Maritime association and an enthusiastic member too, John. Yes, indeed, and I hope to be able to be that for many years to come, yes. I have a long history with the Newry Ship Canal. The first time I came up the canal was 1941, when I was six years of age. My, cap my father was captain of a little ship called the SS Jasmine, and we came down and joined them at the locks and went up to Newry with them, which was lovely. And this is this will probably be my last trip up the canal. You never know, though. We'll see how it goes. Well, last year, last year we 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 had a voyage, John, uh, with your cousins, uh, also two captains in the Merchant Navy, Tom Ramsey and uh, Kenneth Hollywood. That was up the canal from from uh, we on, up in the pilot boat from. Yes, indeed, that was a lovely trip. It brought back a load of memories that with. Uh, the two men that were with us, Captain Tom, Captain Kenneth Hollywood, that both of these guys come from up above the fields above us here. They lived up there, mm -hmm. where all the or all the sailors of Newry came from. In the main was Fatham, all Fatham men, all came from around that part of the world, and very eminent sailors, fantastic sailors. Sailed the ships all around Europe in dreadful conditions and poor navigation and equipment. Wonderful men. And, and John, um, what are your memories of, uh, of the, the men who worked here, the lock men and the lock masters that you would have known? Oh my goodness me. Uh, 
1951, I knew I came. I joined the Bamboo, and we used to come in and out through this lock quite frequently. And we helped the men open the gates. The crew of the ships jumped ashore, helped them wind the gates. Men travelled from from Killian on their bicycles right down here to Newry Locks on t twice a day for two tides to open these gates. Fantastic men. And another man I have to mention on the canal was an old man who lit the lamps along the canal bank. He, he was the one that Peter Lynch lived, lived up on the Flagstaff Road as well. There were, but these were great people. Lovely. Well, John, we'll, we'll, we'll get talking later on when things get a wee bit quieter. Uh, but um, happy memories. No, great memories, great memories, great people. Wonderful people. There's, there's one or two still alive, but they're nearly all gone now, unfortunately. John, thank you very much. Thank you. Captain Jack Holly would lived in this house that's all refurbished. Jack Holly would lived here. And then behind that the wall, that was the the oil depot. And this house over here was Captain Harry O'Hanlon. where the actual oil depot was in, in behind that wall. Well, you see the water, the water can run down.
So uh, here we are at the Albert Basin. Uh, we have arrived now, having journeyed up from Warren Point through Narra Water and through the locks. And uh, here's here's Paddy McCann. Uh, Paddy's also uh, a valued member of Newry Maritime Association. Uh, did you enjoy that trip, Paddy? Definitely did, did Jim, and thank you very much. Uh, and the Newry or Warren Point Harbour Trust for giving me the privilege of coming up on the trip. I enjoyed every minute of it. Lovely. Well, uh, I'm sure, Paddy, it brought back a few memories for you. Uh, it did indeed. The, I think the last time I was come up in Irish in the boat was 1964. And That's 36, 48 years ago, Paddy. A lot has changed from then. But uh, I have to say I enjoyed every moment of it. And, and tell me, uh, you said the last time you came up was 64. Um, when was your first trip to sea, Paddy? My first trip to sea was in the Rowan. Uh, I was well. I st first trip on one of the Newry boats. An uncle of mine took me to sea on the BNI Shipping Company, 1952 Halloween in 1952, and then I, I joined. The, I was in Hoare for about four months. She laid up. She was a kettle boat actually, one of the BNI steamers, and I joined the Rowan with Captain Brian O'Keefe, uh, about February, February 1953. Now, you mentioned uh, Captain Brian O'Keefe, and um, the last new ship that uh, Fishers had was the Olive that arrived in Uri in December 1963. Right. And you were a member of the crew that uh, brought the Olive home on our maiden voyage, That's isn't that right. right? That's right. Myself and Paddy McComb and uh, Aloysius McShane was one of the crew members. Uh, Captain O'Keefe and... Michael Rook from Carnaford was mate. And uh, Johnny McElroy Johnny was chief? John, he was chief engineer, yes. Then uh, The second engineer now, I think, it was was uh, Paddy McLaughlin. And John McGrath, was John, he? John McGrath was the greaser. greaser. Yes. So um, how long did you stay in the Olive then, Paddy? I was on the Olive there for about 17 months then. Uh -huh. And then I, I left her and went further afield then. Now, um, later on, of course, uh, an old friend of yours, Mickey Fern, uh, oh, Mickey, yeah. Mickey took over as mate. That's right. uh, and I've heard Mickey often describe uh, Brian O'Keefe, or Big Brian as he was known, uh, as the best coasting skipper of his generation. Would you agree with that? I would have to be 100%. Yes, def definitely was. Sure. Tremendously time he took ships to uh, ports in France and he didn't even have a chart. He went on, a, on a, an atlas. Yeah. On the compass yes, rules. The com yes, that's right, yes. And there was nothing there, only a compass. Well, Paddy, how do you feel standing here in the Albert Basin today and, uh, you know, we've got the key shopping centre here behind us. Uh, there's no, little or no memory of the port or the people who worked here. Um, what's your feeling on that? Well, I'd have to say it's very sad, but... I have to say, James, fellas like yourself has taken this all back to life again and given it back to the people in Newry, and I'm very thankful for that. And well, a lot of other people. Well, Paddy, we're delighted. We're delighted to have men of your calibre and uh, your knowledge and expertise to assist, because um, you know uh, I feel that it's men like yourself. You're literally walking reference books. Yeah, well, James, I'm going to have to tell you something yourself. For a man that never went to sea, I've never met anybody in my life with a memory like yours, and it <laughs> putting so much into into this Newry Canal business. For a man, it, at one stage, you didn't know the front of a boat from the back. Well, true enough, Paddy. Uh, it's it's an enthusiasm, but as I say, without people like yourself, uh, that 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 I that have knowledge and, and, and hands-on experience, uh, the whole thing would be lost. And I think it's vitally important that, that we preserve and promote our history as much as we can, because uh, up till now, it pretty much has all been airbrushed, hasn't it? That's right. And I'll tell you another thing too. Uh, the short time I've been with the Newry Martin Association, and thank you, Jim, for asking me to join, uh, I'm getting great pleasure going to the schools and educating the young children and it, to me it's, well how can I explain, it's just great, 
Just well, well, Paddy, that uh, thanks, thank you for that com compliments indeed coming from a man like yourself, and it's great to have you and John uh, and Mickey and people like that along with us uh, in in further our aims, and uh, hopefully uh, today uh, with the with the the trip on the Maid of Clanallan here, uh, that our link with the Harbour Authority uh, and now Carlingford Lock. Uh, Yacht Club and the activities here on the basin tomorrow. Hopefully, this will be a stepping stone to further usage and activity of the waterway. It will be. There's no doubt about it. It's, and it's great to see the Newry people getting involved and other outside companies and that. And can I say, James, the work that's been done with the Newry Maritime Association, the short time it's gone, is just unbelievable. Well, thank you once again, Paddy, and thanks very much. Um, we, we no doubt we'll we'll uh, we'll do we'll do some more uh, with Paddy and John uh, at a later stage. Um, obviously, talk to them about uh, the shipping end of things at the port at the Albert Basin and of their time at sea together. But uh, for now, uh, we're going to go and have a nice cup of tea, uh, courtesy of. Uh, Mr. Conway on board the Maid of Clon Allen here. So uh, that's our next protocol. Thank you.